So the 53K training program today is focused on the United States Marine Corps. Um, traditionally, they opt for containerized flight training devices, which are very high fidelity devices that are the equivalent of an FAA Level D simulator. However, they're not motion based. They're containerized to allow for deployability and for deployment. Um, however, what we're trying to do with the Marine Corps is offer them a range of systems. So what you have here behind me is a 53K super multifunction training aid. Slightly lower fidelity device, however, it offers them an opportunity to complete a large number of training tasks at a much more affordable price point. Uh, the MFTAs, we've seen success with other platforms, um, both with other customers as well as the Marine Corps, uh, for example, on the C-130J program. Um, and this MFTA, again, offers that, that affordable price point where they can complete a large portion of training. Uh, we also offer desktop training devices for the Marine Corps where they're able to perform specific lessons on a desktop environment before they graduate to the MFTA or the full flight simulator where they, uh, where they have a, a more costly experience for training. Now what we're doing on the maintenance side for uh, 53K is also, also offering a complete virtual maintenance environment where they're able to perform maintenance tasks virtually and then go to a variety of hardware-based trainers where they can perform the physical tasks of maintaining the device. So the technology behind this for the containerized flight training device actually leverages the system engineering lab for the actual aircraft where we get the operational flight program from the simulator. We couple that with a flight simulation architecture that allows for a very high fidelity experience. The Super MFTA behind us here actually lever leverages that same combination of system engineering operational flight program with what we, we refer to as our prepared software architecture, giving them a very flexible solution that can be scaled from desktop to very high fidelity and also allows interoperability between the platforms. For the 53K itself on the aircraft side, we see a lot of uh, international interest in the platform. Um, specifically, Germany right now is, uh, is executing their heavy lift competition. And uh, through those customers, we see an opportunity for the CH-53K training system to even expand. Um, today, as I mentioned, we're not delivering a motion-based platform for the United States Marine Corps. However, we would expect that there'd be interest in a motion-based traditional FAA Level D Fidelity equivalent simulator for international customers. And, uh, and we also anticipate that that range of flexible devices becomes really important so that we can tailor the, the affordability of the solution for training to each of those customers. Also on the side of maintenance, um, we know a very, very high interest for, from some of our international customers in a very high fidelity maintenance training capability, both virtual, as we spoke about, as well as the more tactile training devices that allow for traditional maintenance activity to be performed.